Hello parents, this is message from Mr. Step over here. Um, just for parents who are unfamiliar with using Zoom or using it for the first time. Um, so once you've downloaded the application, you should have an icon that looks like this on your computer or laptop or on your mobile device. Um, so click on that to log in. I've already signed in, so you just need to sign in with the username and password that you've registered with. Once you've done that, you should have a home page that appears like this on your desktop. So you just need to click on this one over here that says join. And it should come up with a window that looks like this. Here, you need to enter the meeting ID name that we've emailed to you. Um, so if you have a look at the email that we sent out, at the bottom of the email, um, email was a meeting ID and password. You need to enter the meeting ID number that looks like this. So that was for yellow class red class and green class. We've sent them out individually to each class. Um, so if you type in the meeting ID number here and then click on join, it should automatically ask you for the password on the next page. Once you've done that, um, you would be waiting to enter the meeting room, which I, the host, the class teacher, would be able to allow you to come into the meeting room once everyone is in there. Um, you just need to make sure your computer or your devices, microphone and video is enabled if you want to be able, if you want your friends to be able to view your child um, and for them to be able to speak so that we can hear them as well. If you're having trouble downloading the application, don't worry, you can log in via the web page. So in the email there was a link that looks like this, just above the meeting ID number. So if you click on that, it takes you directly to Zoom web version. So if you click on allow, it should automatically log in without the need for any meeting ID or password. Um, just make sure you enable all the computer audio and video function, there I am. So it should automatically log in um, so that you appear. And once you're in the meeting room, you, if you hover your mouse down the bottom, you can see all of these functions here. So you can mute your microphone by clicking on that so that no one can hear you. Um, you can stop recording um, if you don't want your child to be seen. Um, so only their name would appear on the screen. Um, and then you can see all the participants that enter the meeting room on the right hand side if you click on participants. Um, and um, children will be able to react to each other by doing a thumbs up or clapping. Um, just to also inform you that the recording function is strictly forbidden. Um, if you do click on record, all people in the meeting can view that. Um, we, we are not allowing any parents, any children to record each other. Um, also from other mobile devices, taking a screenshot or uploading any of these images onto social media, strictly forbidden just because of safeguarding our children, um, your children, um, for your safety and our safety as well. So just remember that, please. Um, and please make sure that you are also present in the videos for the safety of your children as well. Um, so I hope that makes sense. Um, so we look forward to seeing you on Thursday afternoon. That's two o'clock for red class and yellow class, three o'clock for green class. Um, and if you are still having technical difficulties, please let us know. In the meantime, just try and play around with the Zoom application. Maybe try and make a few video calls with friends and family. See if you can get in touch with them and see if it works. And make sure that your audio and video functions are enabled. If you're still having any problems, email us and I'll try and get in touch with you as soon as I can. Hope that makes sense. And we look forward to seeing you on Thursday. Take care. Bye.